Hi, it's Dr. David Green, founder and CEO of R3 Stem Cell, the global leader in regenerative cellular therapies. All right, so today I've got some props with me and I'm gonna show you the answer to the question of where do you get your stem cells from? Well, I've talked about this before and I just wanna make it very clear because still every day people ask us if we're using um, aborted fetus tissue to get our stem cells. And that is absolutely not true. Um, this is a model of an umbilical cord, okay? And this is part of the placenta, all right? It's obviously not real, it's from uh, an anatomical company. <laughs> um, but basically, uh, we're not gonna go through the anatomy of the placenta. The cord itself has, it's hard to see here, but there's three vessels in the umbilical cord. One is red, there's one artery, and there's two veins, okay? All of the gelatinous material around it is called Wharton's jelly, all right? So when someone says they're uh, getting their stem cells from Wharton's jelly tissue, that just means the matrix inside the umbilical cord. So how do we get the, uh, the tissue? Well, the good thing is my daughter uh, often comes here and hangs out, so there's a lot of her dolls sitting around. So. I thought, um, okay, I don't know what this doll's real name is, but we're just going to call it the mom, all right? So this is the mom laying on a uh, operating room table getting a scheduled C-section, okay? So, all right, there's that. Now, for the baby, uh, my daughter um, left this baby here. So... Uh, initially, I thought, okay, well, I'll attach the umbilical cord to this baby. This baby's not so exciting. So I thought, why not? Let's use Sonic as the baby. <laughs> All right, so pretend Sonic's the baby. So the umbilical cord is attached to the baby, Sonic, um, who has a Phoenix Suns t-shirt on, by the way. All right, so the scheduled C-section happens. Now, the incision and everything, baby is pulled out with the umbilical cord still attached, okay? Now, <clears throat> the clamp is placed at the base of the umbilical cord. And then the dad, if the dad's in the room or hasn't passed out, they'll give him the scissors and say, hey, do you want to cut this? And then the baby's free and clear. It'll be handed off to the nurses to do the cleaning and all that jazz, right? So, good job, Sonic. So now we have um, the umbilical cord that has a clamp on it. Okay. And so no blood is coming out of the umbilical cord because it's clamped. Now, the placenta is removed um, from the mom, and then that is held up and gets clamped as well. So, but anyway, the mom's fine, okay? So she gets sewed up and, and is recovering it goes to recovery okay so now you have two ends clamped and this gets cut but I'm not going to cut the anatomy uh, model and <clears throat> then a couple things happen a lab tech will uh, give the needle over to the doctor who can put the needle into the umbilical cord and withdraw blood the umbilical cord blood and that will go um, from the needle either into a syringe or to a collection bag. It's a sterile collection bag um, and they'll go into various places uh, into the umbilical cord to get the blood. Once the blood has been withdrawn into the sterile collection bag, then the cord itself is placed into either a, a, some sterile saline um, or into an antibiotic mix, whatever the protocol is, and then it's sent off to the lab. Now it's either a local lab or overnighted um, because you want to process this within about 24 hours, okay? So that is how the umbilical cord is obtained. So this process doesn't happen randomly. The mother has consented to donating the umbilical cord and the cord blood um, for use, okay? But it's important to know that there's no harm to um, the mom, all right? or um, the baby okay they are fine and basically this is tissue that is thankfully donated by very gracious mothers otherwise it's typically discarded okay 
There you go. Thanks for watching. Please visit us at r3stemcell.com. We have locations around the world in six countries to date. We've done over 24,000 procedures. We offer free consultations for those interested in seeing if they or a loved one is a candidate by calling um, plus one, 844-GET-STEM. Thank you.